Welcome. My name is Isabou Iqbal, and I'm an educational developer at the Center for Teaching, Learning, and Technology at the University of British Columbia. This video outlines how to prepare for a pre-observation meeting of a classroom observation of teaching in a post-secondary institution. It's for anyone who's new to doing peer reviews of teaching or anyone who needs a reminder on what to do. Before I go any further, I want to clarify what I mean by the pre-observation meeting. It's that meeting that happens between the reviewer and the reviewee before the reviewer goes to watch the instructor teach. And in this video, I'm going to assume that the reviewer and the reviewee have decided they're a good match, they're going to go ahead. So what happens now? The first logistic is setting a date and time for the pre-observation meeting. You wanna hold that meeting one to two weeks before the classroom observation and allow for one to two hours. Make sure that you pick a location where you can have a confidential conversation and remind the reviewee that the entire formative peer review of teaching process is confidential. actually sit down together, it would be helpful for the reviewee to reflect on his or her goals for the peer review of teaching. Some of the other questions that the reviewee might want to think about are, what are my goals for the course? What learning outcomes have I articulated for the students for this particular class? What's my plan? What will I be doing? What will the students be doing? What sort of engagement strategies have I planned to take account for the diverse learners? The reviewee can send the responses to the reviewer ahead of time or not. In either case, the responses that the reviewee will have reflected on will guide the pre-observation meeting. items that the reviewee may want to send ahead of time are the departmental protocol. If your department uses a particular form, make sure to send that to the reviewer. The reviewee may also want to send their teaching philosophy statement or their teaching dossier, uh, syllabi, assignments, other materials. Stay mindful, however, that all of this takes time. So the reviewer shouldn't ask for any materials that they're not going to take a look at. And the reviewee should try to think about carefully what they would like to have reviewed. So now that the reviewee has reflected on their goals for the peer review of teaching process and that you've sent materials, you're ready to meet. Thank you for watching this video. Please be in touch with questions or suggestions. I'd love to hear from you.